The French President Emmanuel Macron has come under fire from mayors, teachers and parents nationwide for his decision to send certain primary school children back to school from next Monday. Now just five days before the expected reopening, some teachers and parents fear it's not enough time to put in place the strict social distancing protocols. Sending children back to school in France will start on a voluntary basis. But with lockdown procedures easing and work resuming on the same day, some parents may have no choice. Katie Dartford tells us more. Facing growing criticism over his plans to reopen some French schools from next week, the French president Emmanuel Macron visited a school outside Paris to meet pupils and teachers. The schools accommodated the children of caregivers since the beginning of the COVID-19 containment period. But despite this example of a model school, concerns been growing and many elected officials oppose the start of the new school year. For some parents attempting to juggle work and childcare, it's a welcome move, despite sending their children back being a difficult decision to make. We are not teachers, and it was very difficult in the beginning to jump into their shoes and acquire the right approach to teach our daughter, who is in her first year of primary school. I think that she needs to go back to her teacher, who has a good approach. More than 300 mayors in the capital region have urged President Macron in an open letter to delay the reopening of primary schools that are scheduled for next week. They say the timeline to meet sanitary and safety conditions is unrealistic, as is capping class sizes at 15. The deadline for May the 11th is unrealistic. At best, we might be able to open something by May the 18th, but again, it won't be like school as we know it. I have a little under 40% of the staff I usually have to run our 28 schools. And for the youngest children, keeping to social distancing regulations is also going to be a challenge. Katie Dartford for Euronews.